Coming up in today's video, I climb through a window, we find yet another problem, I reverse backwards into a wardrobe and finally show you the finished bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom reveal. Not quite yet though because there's still a few things that need to be done, but it's almost there. Today you'll get to see it. We are currently just waiting for the electrician because he's actually going to put some little lights in the bath panel. I thought that would be really nice because then I can just have those lights on and the light in my little alcove and it'll be very, very chilled, low level lighting while I have a bath. But anyway, um, before the electrician comes, I'm actually going to be putting a lot of insulation under the bath. Something keeps my bath water a little bit warmer. So that's the plan for today. Um, yeah, final fix for electrics and then by the end of the day, I will have a complete bathroom, so he's gonna be arriving any second now, so let's get let's get moving. Let's go. So here we have some 100 mil loft insulation. I actually have some goggles on and some gloves. I'm gonna put a mask on in a sec, just because I'm a very sensitive human. This can be a little bit irritant sometimes, so I'm just gonna open it up, then it's time to pop it under the bar. You spin me round, right, round, right. <laughs> While the electrician is finishing up the bathroom, I thought I'd show you the roof. We are going on the roof. I'll show you the easy way up there. Here we go. I am literally gonna climb out the window. I feel like I'm some sort of spy or I'm on a mission. I'm climbing through. Through I come. Might not have looked too elegant when climbing through the window, but I've got to say, I much prefer doing that than going up the rickety ladder. Don't know what it is, but ladders do scare me a little bit. But anyway, come through, come through, come through my little, my gap. Think, you can fit through, come on. <laughs> uh, if you mind the wisteria here that we're gonna, unfortunately have to say goodbye to. It's very pretty, but it is destroying this wall. I will show you up here. Welcome to the roof. We are now at the top of the house. Um, this here <laughs> looks very different to how it did at the beginning. So when the builders first came up here, because in the survey it did say it needed a little bit of repointing, this end gate wall, um, they put a ladder against it and the house actually started moving and they were like, this is too dangerous. So that's why we have the big old scaffolding around the house kind of holding it up. Um, so the other day they took all this down. There were a lot of bricks that were kind of even crumbling under their hands. So we have had to get some reclaimed bricks so they still look kind of oldy woldy and fit in with the property. But here you can see it looks a lot better. Um, there are no cracks or crumbling bricks. So that is always a good start to having a house that is structurally sound. Um, but yeah, this wall is looking a lot better. However, we have just found out that there's been another, another thing that's not going too well around the corner and that is on the dormer. Do you feel a little bit like I'm walking down a catwalk on the scaffolding here? Anyway, we have been um, take, like basically removing bits and here we can see this bit of wood that's holding up the dormer is rotten. So um, that's going to need to be fixed because that is not great. Um, but we've, as you can see, a lot of tiles have been taken off, um, more rotten bits have been taken off. But, We'll get there, we'll get there, it'll be fixed eventually, it'll be fine, it's all good. Um, but yeah, that, that, that does not look very good. Absolutely shocking. And it's now time to go back through the window. You might have noticed from the previous episode that this door no longer has a hole in, so I can't just, you know, stick my head through like I did before. Um, we've filled it in, or the carpenter has. Thank you very much, Carl, he has been incredible. Um, before, it was frosted glass. Now I won't have somebody looking through at me in my dressing room or bedroom. Um, I think it's actually matched up really well. Obviously there are some bits that we need to sand down. There are some holes that we need to fill. They do, it, the doors do need a bit of a neat nut. We might varnish them, but anyway, that's for future Esme to worry about. But if I show you the wardrobe, we come over here. Ta-da! It probably looks completely the same to you guys last time you saw it, but the wardrobe is just so much better now. Even just things like um, at the top, it's actually level and straight before. It was a, a little bit, not very even. Um, also, the thing I love the most is if we pop open the doors, they don't drag on the floor now. Instead, we actually have a little step here. So if I wanted like, I could put some shoes here or I don't know, it just, it feels a lot higher quality and um, we've kept, you know, the doors that were here before. So we have kind of 
I was gonna say recycle them, we just kind of fixed them up really, which has made, um, made things, things a little bit cheaper as well. Obviously we have the wall of indecision, that is now the wall of decision because in the previous episode you will know that I decided to go for rolling fog, a nice neutral colour, but I'm also really excited because in here we have some really lovely storage bits. So I actually have shelves, so can you imagine like shoes on here or like my bags or just pretty things. I love organisation. I think one of the things I'm most excited for is just putting all my clothes in my wardrobe, having everything sort of colour coordinated and hung up neatly. I don't know what I'm going to end up putting in here because it's like a small little, I could almost get in here actually. I don't know. I don't really know what I'd put in here because it's a little it's a little bit more tricky to get in here. Well, this is where my dressing table is going to go, so I do need to think about that. But it is all coming together very nicely. But actually, this window might be a bit easier to go through compared to the other ones. I'm going to do my little spy mission climbing through. So this is our lighting system for when it's dark in here because the lights in here are really bad, like you just can't really see much. So I've got some decorators lighting that we're actually using for filming just so the lighting's a bit better for you all. But there we go, it makes everything just look a, bit, look a bit better now. Okay. The bedroom has also had quite a few bits done since I've last talked to you. Um, so the archway that we have and all the oak bits that we've put in for structural beams, they have lightened up quite a bit. I mean, there are still some areas that's quite dark, but I think once I've sanded it down, it will go to look a really nice honey colour and I think that'll look really pretty. Also, we have some panelling here. Um, I decided to go for panelling in the bedroom up to this kind of level. I, didn't, I, I was thinking of doing it all the way so it matches the um, dressing room and I thought the panelling in here will just kind of tie the two rooms together, make it seem a little bit more like one big room um, and I'm going to paint this in the same colour rolling fog just again to tie it together. Um, but also, I, we were having an R-ing about how far we should do the panelling, where it should go. Um, I have decided to put a little bit in this nook here that isn't quite attached yet, so <laughs> that needs doing. Um, but I thought I could put like a little dressing table in this corner because I'll have to wait and see once the bed is in the room. Um, I'm having to do a lot of imagination and brain work here, but I think it'll look really nice. I can just imagine, you know, this is where I'm going to be lying, kind of. Obviously not under rubble. Um, still need the carpets to be done, but we have a lot of painting to do before then, so yeah. Prepare yourself for lots of painting videos coming up soon. It's now a new day and I can finally do the bathroom reveal. This feels like such a big moment, not only because I now have a functioning toilet, bath, shower, but also because it's the first room that's done. And also this is the room that probably caused, I was gonna say caused a lot of the problems. It was the room that made us discover a lot of the problems. So um, if you can hear all the background noise of hammers and builders, um, that's because they're taking my roof off today. Um, so if you watched the previous episodes, you'll know that when we took the bathroom apart, um, that's when we found water leaking through the roof. So they're fixing that at the moment, but I'm so excited to finally show you all the hard work that's paid off. Come on. Welcome to the bathroom. It feels really strange because this is the one room that is complete and everywhere else looks like a building site, but here it is. Um, I wanted to go for something that's timeless, feels very much, feels very cottagey, very country living. Um, so for the tiles, I went for um, a white just because it's a very like non-offensive colour. It's kind of an off-white as well because I didn't want anything too clinical, anything that um, felt a bit like you know, you're walking into a white, clean hospital. Um, but I also wanted it to be a nice, warm, cosy space as well. I have gone for lots of little bottles to put my shampoo and things in just because I don't know what it is, but having something glass over something plastic just feels a lot more fancy um, and I can buy the big bottles of like shampoo then and decant them into here so that's a little bit better for the environment. Um, a lot of people have asked me because I have shown like a few pictures to my friends and family and things they were like Esme how can you tell what is in what bottle? Well anybody else have like a shower routine and you kind of like I don't know like wash your hair first that kind of thing so basically I put all the bottles in the order that I shall. One of them I haven't put stuff in, but um, anyway, there we go. <laughs> My pretty little bottles. You can kind of see that I've gone for a green and pink theme in here. Um, also, we do have a bit of glass here because it is a shower bath. Because it is a very small space in here, we were like struggling with thinking like, do we just get rid of the bath? Do we just go for a shower? But we managed to make a compromise and we do have a bath shower, which I love because 
I am more of a shower person, like day to day, I do have a shower, but I do love a good bath, pamper session, spa session. Um, so I absolutely love it. That is just, oh, just, it makes me very happy. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is the little bath panel here. Also, if I am having a bath, it does move the other side as well. So it doesn't feel like too claustrophobic and you're in like a confined space when you're having a bath, which is nice. Also, one of my favorite parts is um, this little shelf does have a light and so does the bath panel as well. So down here, there are three little lights that kind of shine out of the bath panels. So what I can do is I can turn the big lights off and can have a really proper relaxing spa bath session in here after a long day. Um, I, ooh, there goes the bin. You can tell that it's quite a small space. Um, I also have like a candle here, a little diffuser, just so it smells nice, especially as it's next to the toilet. I've added a plant as well. I might have to move that when I do have a bath because I don't want to be, you know, shampooing my hair and then shampoo flying into my little fern over here. But I think it looks very pretty. And um, I've never had like plants in a bathroom before because all of my bathrooms have either had like no window or not enough natural light. Like the bathroom downstairs doesn't have any light. So I'm very happy that I can have plants in here. Uh, next we have the toilet. Um, as you can see, we actually painted the toilet seat. Oh, I haven't actually flushed that. I've got some not dirty toilet paper. I was using toilet paper to like clean the edges. Okay, let me just. As you can see, <laughs> it flushes. Um, but no, here you can see the um, toilet is the same color as the wall. Um, I wanted to go for a color that wasn't too out there just because it is a bathroom. If I do ever decide to do my makeup in here, I didn't want something that's gonna make me like, I didn't want to go for a really bright green because if not, I'm gonna be like doing my makeup and color theory and I feel like I'm gonna look green. I think it's really pretty. And again, it makes it feel very cottagey and country. Next, we have this alcove here, which kind of became an accident. So um, the toilet, all the system is hidden behind this wall here um, to make it all flat and in line, especially when we're doing the tiling. We don't have to add this, but there was a bit of um, empty space here that I wanted to use. So at the moment, I've got some towels here, some pretty dried um, flowers. Um, I've also got a toothbrush holder. I didn't want to put that on my vanity and sink just because, I don't know what it is, but I feel like toothbrush holders can just look a bit ugly. This is actually a unique one that I ordered from Etsy. I just had to say what toothbrush I have. So um, my electric toothbrush will fit in these holes. It isn't currently here, but these are like my travel toothbrushes that I use because I don't like to bring electric toothbrushes with me when I go away um, just because it's a bit heavier so they will be used but they look a little bit prettier um, I've also hidden my toothpaste because toothpaste just doesn't look that pretty on show and then I have this little box here that has toilet paper in I do actually have a toilet paper holder but I haven't put that in yet that will probably go on the other side of the vanity unit or down here just so it's hidden like the toilet brush is hidden in this little gap or void here at the moment. This is actually a, um, this is a housewarming present from one of my friends. Um, and I've already got something to put like my tea and my sugar in, which is what I um, assume this is supposed to be for. However, I have actually put cotton pads in here and I feel like it just looks very cute. I didn't want to get like a glass one just because I sometimes feel like glass stuff can look a bit messy. Saying that I do just have a, a glass, you know, soap pump here. But I thought, you know what, it adds to the um, sort of country look. It definitely feels very farmhouse kitchen. So I thought, you know what, it's a little bit different. I'll add that there. On top of the sink, I have this beautiful marble, which I just fell in love with. I feel like the bathroom was the one thing, like when I went around the sort of showroom bathroom kind of thing, I was like, yeah, those tiles, that vanity sink unit. Like it was, I just, I felt like I knew exactly what I wanted. Also this mirror here, there is a sensor on the other side if I shuffle around and you can turn it on and off. And I thought, you know, when I'm doing my skincare, when I'm doing my makeup, having good lighting in a bathroom is a must. So I feel like that is very pretty. Also, I think I was, I'm going to iron having a square shaped mirror or a circle, but I feel like the circle really ties them together because there are a lot of sort, of sort of angular things, especially as we have a sloping roof. I've also added a little plant here. And also this soap dish is so cute. Again, I ordered this from like an independent small business on Etsy. Like my favorite thing is just going on Etsy and um, supporting little small business because they do the cutest stuff and it's often things that not other people have so it feels very unique. Um, I've got some room spray and then another little candle here and then um, this unit actually has drawers so I've got loads of space for storage 
And then um, coming round, we have a towel rail. This was a must because actually this was a really tricky thing to find because of the door, it couldn't be too thick. And at the bath shop that I went to, they didn't have any anything like this that um, didn't stick out loads because obviously the door has to be able to open. Um, so this is heated, it heats up the towels, which is very nice, especially before a bath or a shower. Um, here we just have the door. I'm gonna add my little bath robe to the hook on here. I might have to get a new hook because this one's gone a little bit rusty. Before I forget, I thought I would show you my bin, just because, I don't know why, but this bin just, it just makes me very happy. Like, how cute is this? I feel like with the cottage, I, like things that don't need to be cute, I've tried to make cute. Like who thought a bin could be cute? But there we go. Just pop that down there. Because it is quite a small space in here, I'm gonna have to like see it, and it's the first thing you kind of see when you walk in, because that's the only space it can go. So, you might as well have a cute bin if you're gonna have a bin on show. This is probably the only part of the bathroom that I can put um, photos or frames on because most of the walls are slanted or have tiles on. Um, so here we go. If you watched one of the previous episodes, you'll know that I bought a book from like a really old bookshop um, in the village that I literally bought the book for what, like 50p, it was pence. And I cut out all the pretty flowers and framed them. So, and we have some forget-me-nots here. We have some foxgloves, some lavender. So we have some really, like some of my favorite flowers um, I feel like these were the prettiest ones just because I feel like I'm going to be looking at these a lot if I'm, you know, sitting on the toilet or sitting in the bath. I have a nice little something to look at that's very pretty. Um, also with the panelling, if I do ever get sick of it, I don't think I will because I really like the colour, but you can easily paint the panelling, but you can't, you know, redo tiles very easily. So that's why I went for a safe colour for the tiles. Also, the floor, I'll probably get a lot of questions on. And, um, Here's my little socks, there we go. This is a little cute pink bath mat, let me just flip it up so you can see. Um, so this isn't actually proper wood. Proper wood wouldn't have been great in here just because number one, it's a bathroom. If wood gets wet, it stains and we don't want it to get rotten. Number two, the floor was really uneven. So it would have been very difficult to have something that wasn't flexible down on the ground. And also number three, um, with the door, we couldn't have anything that was too thick. If not, the door wouldn't open and close. So we went for this and I think it looks really nice, um, especially with you know, the bath mat down, all that kind of stuff. It does look like proper wood. I also think that the wood really ties the bathroom together and gives it again that country look. I feel like I keep saying that, but you can kind of see what sort of aesthetic I've gone for. And I think it looks really nice. So yeah, that is the floor. Um, it's also very warm. I feel like tiles can sometimes be quite cold and we don't have underfloor heating or anything like that, especially it's such, it's such a small room and you know, the bath mat does take up most of the floor anyway. So um, it's nice that this is a very nice warm material too, which I'm very happy with. So that is the first room done. I am so happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments and also let me know which part your favorite is. I don't know, there are so many bits that I just, I just love. I, I just think the vanity and the light mirror and it just looks very pretty. I'm happy. Um, but also, won't be long until the next episode is out because um, in that you'll get to see the roof being taken off, which is happening right now. Um, I make some acid in my bath that I'll be using on some of the wood. And also there is a lot of painting. So my whole wardrobe, all the paneling in the bedroom, that's being done and it looks very satisfying. So be sure to check that out when it's out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. It's so pretty. It's so nice seeing everything come together and all the hard work paid off. It doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like this is my bathroom. It just feels like I'm in a bathroom, you know? I can turn that off now. <laughs>